Hello, my dear Gemini. This is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a pick a card reading up, the evolution of my romantic life for the full members to this channel and the reading the divine masculine's role in my past, present and future is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I use the Light Seer's Tarot for the readings part and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see the Eight of Wands together with the Emperor. Uh, so uh, it seems like um, this is a person that wants something very intensely and are very determined to get it and get it in their way. So we'll see what it is. I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the eight of swords together with the eight of wands. So they have a little bit complicated thinking, this person. They might not really think in, in ways that's actually logic or um, nice. I'm not saying that they're hostile, but I think they're a little bit judgmental. So mm, they, they don't want to be blue eyed. They don't want to be naive. Uh, so they're complicating things for themselves. Uh, in their thinking. Uh, so things need to be in a certain kind of way for this person to be happy. Okay. So I called the uh, four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we also have another eight. So it's a lot of eights here. I think this person goes in circles a little bit. The eternity symbol of an eight. Eight of cups. So when they don't get uh, the things that they want, uh, they kind of walk away or they show, they demonstrate straight very clearly that they are not happy with the situation. And But with the Eight of Wands, they're probably quick back again, but they still want things in their way. We saw the Emperor there. I felt a very kind of determined energy from that card. Uh, so um, I think this person might have a little bit... Uh, emotional issues maybe they are very sensitive but try to be super cool uh, which makes them need to have things in a certain kind of way in other case they can't be happy so they're not very resilient i would say i call the six elements and here we have the hermit together with the eight of wands so it might be that this person is currently sulking uh, <laughs> about uh, something and um, that um, and here they actually feel a little bit vulnerable. So this is the first time I'm getting a little bit underneath their skin. So I think they are in a sensitive period right now. So if they have uh, acted very peculiar, it's probably because they have had some kind of dramatic event going on in their head and in their, you know, in their emotions, uh, which has stirred up uh, um, a little bit strange behavior from this person. But... Um, uh, they have some requirements on you. It's something that they like. They want things. Uh, they want you to bend to their will, um, but that's only because um, <clears throat> they can't uh, settle down and be happy if they don't get what they want in this uh, situation. It might be valid, of course, if they want you to stop uh, uh, doing something that's hurtful, uh, but. Uh, I also feel like there's an element of this person maybe being a little bit overdramatic. Okay, just a little bit. So, um, okay, so it was suddenly just done there. Click. Okay, I will tune in for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind, and what this person would want to happen between you two. So this is their most likely action and the evolution of your relationship. And this is um, what they would want to have happen. Six of Pentacles. So they want equal exchange. So that's good. Maybe you have been unfair to this person. Um, or there's a way around their um, judgmental, a little bit cranky attitude that if you offer 
up uh, like a good discussion with um, nice <clears throat> compromises but we have the eight symbol here again uh, so uh, it's, it's making me feel like I'm trapped in, in a certain scenario that repeats itself so the most likely action we have a ten of pentacles they seem to have a very strong attachment to you you feel like home you feel like someone that should be in their life uh, it's just that you need to find a way to cooperate and and work together and understand each other the five here is connected to the temperance card there um, we learn by rubbing off on each other like one person wants to go in that direction the other person wants to go in that direction and when we compromise, we, uh, we kind of need to expand ourselves and maybe think in a way that we weren't able to think before. It's like when you meet a new person, you, they have an awful music taste, but after a while you learn to love their taste of music. And uh, they are introducing you to new foods, a new way of thinking. And uh, so first we have a lot of resistance because we don't like things when it's not in the way we want them to be. But eventually we become kind of the scientists that learn and adapt and are curious enough to be open to new things. Uh, we also see the seven of wands here, which is um, there's a limit here. <laughs> there's a limit to uh, what we want to do. Uh, certain compromises are not an option uh, for this person and probably for most people. There's, uh, you know, we have we have a line somewhere. This is their intentions and this is their feeling. So they feel very hurt um, with the nine of swords here. The high priestess, they're trying to not show it uh, towards you, but there's, like some, there's a vibrant string of this pain. So we'll, I almost hear it like violin music. Uh, so they're just trying to keep, um, keep a um, cool face here. It's not cool per se, but they're trying to not show how hurt they are. Okay. And this is how they view you. And we have the star card there. So um, it's like we saw with the Ten of Pentacles. They really feel connected to you and they want uh, the relationship to continue. And they probably love you deeply. And uh, this is how they view the relationship, Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person wants to still be themselves even if they are in the relationship they might also need want to get more of their needs met in the relationship so maybe you two should have a open discussion of what this can be uh, maybe it goes both ways uh, that both people wants their need met but also being able to kind of be ourselves to not have to change too much uh, to become like a totally different person we might want to keep our hobbies and uh, you know, have freedom to to go where we want to go and uh, meet who we want to meet. Uh, and this is um, what they would want to have happen. And we have a Knight of Cups here. So if you have had a falling out, they definitely want a reconciliation. Um, if, um, if this person has been feeling a little bit down uh, it doesn't mean that they want to end the relationship they still they want it to continue uh, they want you to uh, to still be a, an item this can also be in other relationship constellations of course that this can be your child or uh, your brother or your aunt or something <laughs> but um, I'm reading the romantic uh, version here but you can decide uh, who this is if you come to think about the person like again and again it's probably about that person six of pentacles is connected to the lover's card but it's the friendly aspect so even if this person has very strong will they seem to be able to be open for compromises it's just i think what i read into in the in the beginning it was uh, what how they felt like in some of your arguments or conflict or where there was a little bit drama coming to surface and this is the aftermath where they kind of um they don't want it to end between you two your relationship is super important for them and um, they want to do uh, a lot a lot of compromises to make this work but they don't want to lose themselves so that's important and also feel fairly treated in the relationship so 
uh, both people get their needs met. Okay. Their most likely action is the devil and the queen of pentacles. So the devil is reaching out to the queen of pentacles. She has her eyes closed, wa doesn't want to take their offer. So I wonder if this person is the devil and you are the queen of pentacles here. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo energy. So you might be dealing with an earth sign. We also have Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces, uh, Gemini, um, Pisces. <laughs> so three Pisces. Um, six of Wands, which is Leo, victory, you won, <laughs> okay, so you are winning here, uh, you are winning because they are reaching out their hand, even though they said they wouldn't, or even the, if they acted like they were, you know, so indigenous that, like, like they felt they needed to keep their integrity and, and be a little bit angry with you, but here they are reaching out their hand because... It's some kind of pain coming up from the subconscious here. Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. So this shows a um, person that wants to be very autonomous in a relationship. Uh, they want to keep the good, nice vibe between you two, but they don't want to hang around with you all the time. Or maybe it's you that don't want to hang around with them. Maybe you have gotten your own, the own, your own stuff that you are doing that's taking up a lot of your time here it was the relationship was important but here nine it's connected to the hermit so it's our own life that's becomes important but i think it has to do with nine nine and like this compromise here that the person still wants to be like they might have plans for their life things they want to experience before they uh, you know, get too <laughs> old or lose their chance or they're tied down with family and things like this. So they have a lot of stuff that they want to do and they want to fulfill themselves. And the hermit is also about finding oneself. So we want to find ourselves. And we can do that to following our heart and what it is that we want to experience. But if we have a relationship that puts a lot of limits and that can also put a limit to us expressing who we are or following down the road that our soul calls us because there's maybe a threat that the relationship will end or that um, if one person goes on a trip, the other person might be angry and jealous or move on with someone else. So there's a nervousness there that makes us not safe to, uh, to kind of stretch beyond our borders or do the thing that we can discover ourselves <clears throat> so this person says that they have been stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack but looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories so this is the first part of the reading where they were so very hurt and they didn't want to change their mind but then they started to feel that they were missing you and remembering all the good things and how important you are in their life and then we have engagement ring so there might be an issue of commitment here that one person wants to commit but the other person wants to still have the relationship but don't want to make that kind of commitment just yet because they don't know if they're going to travel the world tomorrow or you know i don't know do a lot of things like you i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date i like you it's very it's not uh, i love you uh, if we are engagement ring we we love a person we don't just like them but i think this person probably love you but they want to keep it like i like you and they probably don't want to commit at this point this can also be you it can be in the reverse and um, because they they are keeping the love and the how they accept the love or the level of love that they feel for you they kind of try to keep it on a certain level because they want uh, to not lose themselves in the relationship and make you the most important thing for them like on in all categories because they still have stuff to do things to experience and if they if they maybe realize how much they love you uh, and they commit to you and then they will feel trapped in the relationship and they will get a horrible midlife crisis and uh, you know um, <laughs> be very depressed at some point in their life because they missed out on all these things uh, so I think try to not be too hurt with this person trying to downplay the importance of your relationship I think you are super important to them it's just that this person hasn't truly found themselves 
just yet. Uh, so they need to uh, not be defined by the relationship. They still want to be almost like a single person, but not single because with the engagement ring, I, I definitely feel like you are very connected and it's not that they want to be um, unfaithful in a romantic relationship. But uh, they want to have the freedom to follow their soul's road. So that's the issue here. Okay, so whatever that is going to be. There was a lack of attraction. So this might have been in the beginning that maybe you were friends with benefits or um, maybe one person were yet, uh, very interested in the other person, but the other person wasn't that into them. But now this has grown and uh, it grown beyond the other, that, that person's plan. They didn't plan for um, becoming this attached probably because they had things to do, places to go, uh, people to meet and things to experience. Not enough feelings to continue this relationship. That's a little bit harsh because this is not what I'm seeing. I am scared of you. <laughs> yes, that I can agree with because the person, uh, they feel a lot of love and connection towards you, but they are scared of you because they want to keep their feelings on a low level. And if they become too in love with you, they will automatically, what they feel is that they will lose themselves. They will not be themselves anymore. They will lose all their soul's purpose of being here. And then we have another issue as well. I don't feel worthy of love. So whenever someone loves them, and since they don't feel worthy of love, they might feel like the other person is also unworthy. Uh, this is very typical when we don't feel worthy of love and someone comes like we might be super interested with the person, but then they come and say, yes, I'm super into you too. I want us to be together. Uh, I want to have two children. I want to be married one day. What do you say? <laughs> Suddenly we don't feel that much love anymore because we don't feel worthy of love. And as long as we chase the person, uh, then we felt like they were like the icon of beauty and <laughs> sexiness and you know we were so attracted to them but as soon as they said that they were ours we thought oh since I'm not worthy of love and they love me they need to not be worthy of love too they need to be a person that we shouldn't respect because I don't respect myself and if they say that they love you love me and want to be with me uh, then there must be something wrong with them uh, so um there's an issue here. I think this might be you uh, also uh, that has this uh, issue. Uh, so you're meeting someone that's not really ready for love, uh, but there's still love in this situation. It's just that uh, maybe we don't want it to be. And it can be also you that felt stabbed in the back because the person wanted to downplay the importance of your relationship. They didn't do it to hurt you. They did it because they wanted to keep their autonomous self. Uh, so it's childish, but uh, this person is not uh, like 100% a grown up person. Even if they are that, they can be like 80 years old and still have these issues. If they never revol revolted against their parents, their culture, and um, then they will still be a teenager at heart. Okay. The work, health and duty area of your life. So it might be that this person wants to focus a lot on career. The Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Two of Wands. It can also be someone that wants a successful career. So they want you, but they need you to step aside a little bit so they can have this marvelous career. Fourth house, your home and the roots of your being. So they want you to be this ordinary like harbor that they can return to whenever they come back from their adventures. I realize this can be feeling very humiliating as if you should be home and waiting and wave them up with a white handkerchief <laughs> handkerchief that when they go out you know in the world it's um, it's a very old and outdated it maybe were romantic at one point but says the uh, role since society has shifted um, most people don't want to sit and wait around for someone to do their important things in life uh, but this is how this person wants things and um, 
and this is what you have to kind of um, decide if you want it or not so what where's this going where is this going the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth so the divine thinks that uh, that this will be a phase this person thinks that there's something important like out there but as, as soon as they are away from you they feel uh, almost like they are dying so I think they are already super attached to you and um, you can let them you know run to the end of the world I'm pretty sure they will come back like in a rubber band we have the eights all the eights is like we're trying to stretch away and then boom we're back on the same place where we started and we try to stretch away and then boom we're back so it can be an on and off again relationship uh, too but I understand this can be humiliating someone wants to like this other thing is so much more important than you and you know you are just something that uh, they can enjoy whenever they want to come home and rest. But um, I, I think uh, they are on the verge of um, growing out of that idea. <laughs> okay, still might want to, you know, have their uh, autonomous life, but they might see it less of a threat, like the relationship less of a threat to uh, their, uh, like their iconic self. If you become a little bit less dramatic by this whole thing and um, the best way is probably for you to develop you know your own personality and what's your life purpose don't make it about like this person uh, try to find something outside the relationship that's um, fulfilling that you can share with this person if they come to you but uh, that also makes you preoccupied so you don't run after them and because that energy will make them overwhelmed and want they will run you know further away from you uh, so there's a recipe to fix this <laughs> so it's for you to be more preoccupied and then this person they're missing you it's like an, a switch <laughs> as soon as they're away from you they miss you a lot and uh, but um uh, they think they want they think that they will have a, a really good time uh, uh, but this will draw them back to you and there will be balance in the relationship when uh, when you are not running after them and not taking it personal uh, this uh, childish little bit energy here okay so I would urge you to watch the love reading for December or the reading their true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this relationship on my first channel page, there's a playlist for your specific astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you will see a link to that playlist, so go and check it out. You can also order personal readings, distance healing and past life regression sessions at my webpage tarot.com.se. And please share my videos on your social media to let people know about them. Also like the video so YouTube uh, knows that you want to continue seeing my readings in your feed. And of course subscribe and hit the notification bell to be sure that you get noticed when I'm posting a new video. Thank you in advance also for watching this far. Take care of yourself, stay blessed and bye for now.